Okay, Danny, Phil, tell me all about your podcast, please. Well, oh, all right, we will. It's called Manatomy. And um, the reason it started, it was a bit of a weird one. We were thinking about podcasts, and then we, we had a chat, and we thought, what is the worst possible thing to be invited on? The podcast that we would go, no, there's absolutely no way I'm going to do that. And of course, it was one where uh, we'd have to talk about our bodies. <laughs> so um, it was. It came from that that sort of idea of uncomfortableness and awkwardness. And then we thought about it more and thought, that's a really interesting idea. Why don't men do that? Why is this a conversation that we never seem to have and we're so far behind women on? And um, and then we came up with the name Anatomy, and we were like, well, we've got to do it now. It's it's very kind of Danny to put all these wheeze in there, but it was it's his idea and and your name. I'm, I'm very grateful to you for coming up with the whole thing, really. It was, it was brilliant. Uh-huh. Oh, well, it's been fun. Uh, and um, and I think what, what it was partly was that thing of um, it was it was like a 3 a.m. four bottles of wine conversation that men never, ever have with each other. And suddenly we opened the whole thing up um, to all kinds of well-known people who have had all these strange experiences. And you, you're literally having conversations that you've never had with anyone before in your life um, with some quite high profile men. It's been it's been a fascinating journey. And was this something that sort of come about over lockdown? Because I, I guess a lot of us, our, our, our bodies have changed slightly over over lockdown. A few of us have gained a few extra pounds and stuff. Was was that kind of influential in in the the kind of concept of the podcast in any way? I th- I think I certainly put on a few pounds during lockdown, and and maybe it was more though there was like. <sighs> Lockdown was strange if you do creative things for a living because a lot of stuff kind of disappeared. And you found yourself coming up with new ideas that maybe ordinarily you might have taken somewhere or done something with or involved an outside party. And with me and Phil, we just thought we can do all this stuff ourselves. So what, why don't we do it? And so we created a, a newsletter um, that we send out twice a week. It's a kind of um, subscription newsletter. And we created this world for sort of men who feel like they want to be useful at a time where we were all feeling a bit useless. And out of that was born Manatomy as well, um, where we thought, well, we can be those men and we can talk openly. And so... Yes, yeah, so people will talk about weight um, on the podcast, but it's a completely non-judgmental place. We um, we don't think there's any correct type of body. We just want to talk about yours and how you feel. And, you know, it's guys talking about puberty or testosterone or rejection and the effect that that has on your self-image. Um, but they also talk about funny things like, um, I think it was Reese James who has... No, no, maybe it was Ian Lee who's an episode coming up where he just talks about um, his uh, his little nipples, like a couple of little <laughs> tiddlywinks, you know. And um, so there's there's play, a playful element to it, um, but mortality is in there. And we've had people like, you know, Gary Lineker, um, Tim Minchin. We have John Ronson coming up. And so we try and make it thoughtful but funny. And all of these have been completely comfortable. Do you, do you reach out to them and go, look, were you interested in coming on the podcast and get a yes before you tell them what the kind of... <laughs> podcast is about <laughs> no i i if i reach out to them um i think because a lot of them have known me a long time there's an element of trust there they know yeah. that you know they, they know it's going to be fine and it's not going to make fun of them but there will be fun to be had yeah. um but we have had you know um some people who i i had a yes from think about it and go actually no really yeah and very very um very very famous people who who have talked a lot about other people's bodies let's say but who are not willing to go anywhere near their own and i thought that was very interesting Mm. naming no names well i mean can we name some names of um other guests that people can expect to hear from as well yeah sure yeah we have um we have the fascinating john amici coming up don't we uh danny who's who's um He's now six foot nine, I think. He was six foot ten at his NBA playing peak, uh, and then he he's British guy played in the NBA and then came back, and now he's uh, an organisational psychologist. And he took both of us into this weird place of what it's like to be very very unusual in your appearance, and it was a fascinating episode. That's one of my favourites. We've just just recorded. Haven't we? Yeah, he's never ever been invisible. Um, he inspires terror in strangers, genuine terror or shock or mockery because you know six foot ten inch broad-shouldered black guy who happens to be the first openly gay nba player 
and who has to take great care with his body because he could, you know, if he goes dancing, he could knock someone out. I think he actually did break someone's nose once because he was lost in the moment and dancing. And so that was interesting because that's someone's body that they are in yeah. all the time and it would never have occurred to us. Jamila Jamil kicked off the whole uh, the whole series because we wanted to um, get a kind of a different perspective on men and their bodies. Um, we have Stephanie Hurst coming up, John Ronson, Tim Minchin, as I say, Marcus Brigstock on what it was like to be a very tall goth and food addiction, which he talks about with great wit. Um, we found ourselves getting into some pretty deep but funny conversations. There's always a laugh around the corner, but there are thoughts that you've never really had either, or certainly I'd never had. Yeah, there's a few moments where people take us to places where, so I speak for myself, I felt very uncomfortable going there. I've led quite a sheltered, privileged and rather happy life as a, as a family man. And people have had some very dark times with their bodies. And um, I've felt very grateful to them for being so open and also somewhat out of my depth, which makes for very interesting listening, I think. And some of them are just very funny. Reese James is coming up, a brilliant comic, and he just talks about his body with wonderful mockery. Um, so it's just basically an hour of jokes. If you had to recommend an episode for a new listener, is there one that you'd say, like, get stuck in with this one, or would you say just go to the very beginning and, and work your way through? I think you will know when you see the names if there's one that, is a bit like you maybe, or maybe tackles things that, you know, that maybe appeal to you, like Adam Buxton talked about his height, and heightism is a big deal for, you know, a lot of men. So either go by the kind of the topics that are in the show notes, or take a chance. There's a guy called Scotty, who is an artist. Um, I, I think you've probably, certainly on your network, you'll have, you'll have had him on as a guest somewhere along the line, or Pip will. He's, um, he's from our he's from our very neck of the woods. He's uh, he's, an, he's currently residing in Essex. There you go. So mm. what an interesting, um, ebullient, um, yet dark chat that was. And he launches straight in. You know exactly who he is as soon as he opens his mouth because he's so authentic. Um, but at the same time, you know, people have tried to set him on fire just for being who he is. Um, and just for having the body that he has. So, yeah, talk about light and shade. That, that was, <laughs> the Scotty episode has got both. My personal favourite is Adam Buxton, actually. Um, are you allowed to declare a personal favourite, Danny? Is that, is well, that I, I don't, but you, you feel free to. OK, one of the many <laughs> favourites I have is Adam Buxton. And Danny always asks all the guests to describe themselves. And um, just listen to his the way he describes himself. It's a micro masterpiece of comic timing and wording and phraseology. The man is an absolute genius and it's just five minutes of perfection. Wonderful. And plans moving forward, gentlemen? Uh, more men, more bodies, um, more women. Um, uh, trying to find as many new takes on on the body as possible really um and uh, and yeah we have we have a bunch more in the can and um we're on the lookout for more as well what about live is that something you've considered we're seeing so many podcasts now moving into the the live arenas uh is that something you fancy yeah absolutely we um we 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 think that will be great and weird and open and freeing and more of a nerve-wracking proposition for a guest i think mm. because it's not just us and their microphone it is you know a live audience um and in november we're recording quite a special one i won't give too much away but it involves two very big names together and big names is a clue as well in, in some sense but we're, we're putting that together and if that comes off which I think it will um, that'll be a very special episode wonderful Phil Danny thank you so much no thank you thank you yeah thanks for taking interest <laughs>